I think Bud Light really screwed up. They went with the wrong trans person. You know who I think should have been on that can? Michael Obama. Michael Obama. That's right. The most infamous trans woman that this world has ever seen has gotten more done. If they put Michael Obama, Bud Light would have made $4 billion. Joan Rivers was killed because Michelle Obama is trans. She said it nicely. She was like, well, yeah, Barack Obama's gay. Michelle is a trans. No, gay. you need more grovel with that. You got need more Barack, Barack Obama's, Obama's gay. gay. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. <laughs>
young drinkers to come and drink this brand, there will be no future for Bud Light. So I had this super clear mandate. After Bud Light saw a major backlash for their recent strategy to use transgendered influencers, the VP of Marketing for Bud Light did an interview to defend the strategy, saying they wanted to promote the declining American beer brand to young people. Yes. <laughs> so we'll get into the backlash and everything. But so apparently this VP, this girl, like was part of the marketing department and decides to pitch to, to Bud Light like they. Like, don't get me wrong, okay? If the, if White Claw did this, I'd be like, that makes sense, dude. That makes sense, you know? Not my beer, no. They would never do that, okay? Listen, hillbillies and rednecks, that's all, right, all well, Bud Light is. If, the, if, if, if Bud Light can't be the trans can, what is the trans can? Well, can trans be cans? Yeah, what, what, like, if, if we have to, you know, if we have to assign one, one beer or one alcoholic beverage to the trans people, what should it be, you know? Uh, not the ones that I'm drinking. Thank you. <laughs> Just, <laughs> you're like anything but what I'm drinking. So, a lot you of- Leave Whitney alone. I don't want these people in my fucking, like, dude- Sports are ruined now. Thanks. Fucking bathrooms are ruined now. So Thanks. What? Okay. Dude, it's fucking male excellence. That's all I have to say. That's yeah, what, whether or not they have a vagina or not. We're dude, we're just reaching we're just dude, we just need fucking we just need W's across the board. We're just about <laughs> records, dude. We're just here we're just here to fucking I think this is the best thing ever that's ever happened, dude. Can't win in male sports? Join women's sports. Yeah, just flip a room. That's 206th just... in men's sports? Join women's swimming and you'll be number one. Right. It's true. What's what? her name? Jennifer? Leah? <laughs> Leah the swimmer? Leah the fucking trans Leah Thomas. Swimmer? Yeah, Leah yeah. Thomas. <laughs> she's, the one that, she's the one that started this all. I mean, could you imagine... Could you imagine just being like a swimmer? And being it's like, on sight if I see Leah. I'm just saying. It's on sight. Dude, you can't you can't say that. All of Why? The, all of the trans swimmers are going to come after you. Good. They're going to wiggle your way to yeah, you. Yeah, they're going to what? Like, swim I'm on land. What are they going to do? Yeah, what are they going to do? All they're going to do is stay on land. <laughs> yeah. That's they're like why, piranhas. That's like, that's like a realistic <laughs> Aquaman movie. Like, oh. I'm out of the ocean. What are you going to do? Yeah, he would beat you up for sure. Leah? Yeah, he would beat you up. Not about a taser. Fuck no, you. That'd beat. be a great fight. Taser now sponsored by Soul Vibe Productions. <laughs> Soul Vibe Fight Club. We have, we have Bay versus Leah Thomas. <laughs> You're like in the corner, like they're like putting ice over you, and you're like, she's too, he's too fast. They're like, she, she's too fast. <laughs> I fought women. Ah! I ain't no women. <laughs> if I if I was Leah Thomas and I and if I was in a fight, I feel like I'd put like my pronouns like on my actual like gloves. They so know. so yeah, so you just she. see. Her, yeah. she, her. So you just see she just getting bigger <laughs> every single time, just reminding you. Nah, he'll get what's coming to him. Is it allowed to beat a woman then if you're a trans woman? Technically, no one can beat anybody. It's illegal. No, yeah. Well, no one should beat anyone in the first place yeah. unless it's in swimming. <laughs> and if you're Leah Thomas, then you should be getting gold all around. Well, did you hear the story about it? The the other girl who Liz, no, who the fuck is her? Uh, the competitor who they tied, they tied and they gave the trophy to Leah Thomas because she's they got a dick, dude. Because they fucking. needed to take pictures of of the fucking trans person with the medal, even though the other girl literally tied with them. To be honest with you, like. Here's the thing, it's like if two people are tied and one of them has a dick, that person de deserves the medal. 
Her day I, is coming, I love ladies. How, I love how this sharpen is like... The fi- <laughs> sharpen the pitch for it. Welcome to the patriarchy. Mm. I love how like now it's getting to the point where you could be so pro-trans that you're like, yo, fuck woman, dude. Fuck cis woman. You have a vagina? That's gross. Ugh. Ugh. You don't have a throbbing cock, dude? <laughs> Fucking get out of here. I don't date woman without a throbbing <laughs> cock. I have a maximum number of holes I need on a person. Hey, dude. you know what? Like, let's just keep our praise out for the one man who's out there trying to still convince all of his friends he's not gay because he's just out there. Be like, yeah, I only exclusively I only, excu- I only, I only exclusively date like trans women. Like, hey, bud, listen. We know there's something that you got it. We you know, got it. You, get, you, know, you know, everyone knows. Everyone knows that that you know. He's like, dude, it's straight, it's straight. Be like, who's bottom? You know, that's the real question. Is it is it a prison bottom? Is it a prison top? Because those are different. You know? I think those people spend their whole life in a prison. Yeah. Prison is kind of like the high school of like the of like the incarceration institution. You know, that's where oh, you, you go. Oh, you only get vending machine food, and everybody's mean to you. <laughs> yeah, that <laughs> like you. That's where you discover your sexuality real fucking fast. You know, except for in high school, it's like you get to have debates with people over. Like, you know, like sexual identity in, in prison, you're most likely just kind of given the debate without really being asked, you know, you're forced to understand real fucking quick, but look, I just, so out, out of this, like, um, what do they call it? a boycott? This is a st- oh, it, this is a good old fashioned boycott. So, but like, I like boys. And cots. I like my boys in cots. <laughs> this Say is, that three times fast. This is a good old-fashioned boycott. You know what's funny? Normally, the Republicans never boycott anything. You know what I mean? It's usually always the left. You know what I've discovered? That Literally, they're libtards? They're better at boycotting, dude. They're better at protesting. Yeah, why do you think that is? Because they actually have functioning brains most of the time. Look up how much money Bud Light has lost there since is, this boycott. There is more fucking competent right wingers than there are competent left wingers, and I will sit on that to the day I die. Because um, you go on TikTok, and the first thing that you're gonna hear is, "I'm a gay, autistic, pink haired person, and I'm gonna show you that it's okay you to f- go on a train and try." public transport even though that you have an anxiety attack just by breathing the same air as somebody who's not in your household. You forgot ethically non-monogamous. Ethically non-monogamous. There you go. <laughs> Fucking A, hey, dude. Hey, you know, you never know. You know, chase your dreams. If you're gay enough and if you're confusing enough, you might just end up on a Bud Light can. Yeah, and meeting the president. And meeting, and meeting the president. I mean... The fact that all it took was for a year. Like, that's truly amazing. It's just like, a fucking mockery of what women actually are. Yeah, it's so, a so parade. How, so how do you feel about Dylan Mulvaney's... Because some would say that that's, like, their personality. That's their right to identify. I don't give a fuck. Be a drag queen. That's literally better than this shit. If you are taking the places yeah. of women, then... I'm sorry, I don't fucking respect you, and I don't have to respect you, and I don't have to call you anything I don't fucking want to. In fact, I'll call you whatever I want. So do you think that, do you think that she's spreading kind of like a, a, a false image, a stereotype of what women Yes, are? have you seen the video of Dylan Mulvaney gallivanting through like woodland hill, like hills in heels and like giant ankle breakers and like a crop top? It's like, this is my hiking outfit as a woman. Like, bitch, I you. Hey, <laughs> hey, hey, yo. 
Hey, yo, we need to make this happen. We got gloves with pronouns <laughs> on them. We are ready. I'm pissed, dude. I'm so over. I'm so over of people telling me to fucking... You need to accept. You need to respect them. You need to... Fu no, I don't fucking have to accept or respect anything. First off, nothing, nothing says fucking predatory. Like trying to convince little fucking kids that they need gender-affirming care. Not just letting them grow their hair out, not letting them yeah. pierce their ears, but literally putting them on drugs and and putting them in therapy and giving them surgery when they're fucking teenagers. There is such a thing as trans regret. And these people, these yeah. people are yeah, not speaking, happy. Yo, speaking of trans regret, Bull, Bud Light, Anheuser, the parent company, lost about four billion dollars since the boycott since the boycott started oh this was a mistake i mean imagine going from like your commercials barely reach anyone and then they're like some like side part of the company is like let's make a little can with dylan mulvaney on it and then all of a sudden the ceo calls you up you're like why did i wake up to our shares Four billion dollars below their market share. Like oh. four billion. That could support like almost every single family in America for a couple months. Literally. Yeah. Like either for real. They're that or like four very rich white families. Or four very rich white families. Well, no. Well off. What what do you mean? There's four a billion each? White people can do a lot with a billion. I'll tell you, you what. Know, who Look can... at Elon Musk, dude. It wouldn't even support one Dubai. Oh, I'm sorry. The Elon... Dubai people would not be satisfied with $4 billion for one person. Those motherfuckers have the most money in the world, and they're keeping it a secret. Yeah, just dude. to let you know. Just to let you know. Yeah, There's a helicopter noise. Just know. <laughs> that's, the, that's, the true, that's the true thing. I mean, I just think that, like, Bud Light's just so, like... They, how did they not? How did this not go through multiple people, and be like, hey, maybe this isn't because she called Bud Light's own like audience fratty. She said like it was this old kind of fratty audience. Now we need to reach out to. And it's like that's just not how it works. Okay, beer doesn't survive past generations. All right, we're not gonna have a. We're not gonna have followers and fans of this podcast that are nuns. We're not. We never are. There's never gonna be a nun that's like this podcast is the best thing I've ever seen. Also, most nuns don't know English. True. Just statistically. True. I'm just talking numbers here. <laughs> <laughs> just, just. Aren't they Italian usually? Isn't it Italian? Aren't nuns usually Italian? I'm not. <laughs> No, I'm guessing we're getting we're getting we're getting all over the place. But here, you know what? I think I think that we're about to find out what language nuns speak. What? No. Bamum. Never mind that. Okay. <laughs> you know what? I think Bud Light really screwed up. I think they could have gone with a trans. I think they could have gone with a trans uh, with a trans person, but they went with the wrong trans person. You know who I think should have been on that can? Michael Obama. Michael Obama. That's right. Michael Obama. The most infamous trans woman that this world has ever seen has gotten more done than any other trans woman this world has True. ever seen. True. Okay. It's been technically as an office. You have to type in Michelle. Yeah, Mich type in Michelle Obama Joan Rivers. Michelin That's Obama. That's what you need to type in. Michelin Michelle Obama. Obama, the wife who's a tire, but is also... Look at videos. So people have... <laughs> no, not that one. She's drunk and she's going up a staircase to her apartment. And the fucking paparazzi bombarded her. No. Yeah, I didn't eat... <laughs> video. It's a video. It's literally on videos. I, Click I'm on not videos. even kidding. If they put if they put Michael Obama on the, on that can... Scroll. Coming out. Scroll. You know, that would be... Bud Light would have... Bud Light would have made $4 billion. Joan Rivers was killed because Michelle Obama is branched. Okay. Dude, look. 
Literally, okay, well, since we can't fucking find it, it's literally a video of Joan Rivers, and she's trashed, and it's some, like, daylight out, and she's walking up a staircase off of the sidewalk, obviously going into some yeah, kind of apartment. Yeah, 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 I've seen that. Yeah. And she's like, you never know that Michelle Obama's actually a man. Well, she's- she said it nicely. She was like, well, yeah, Barack Obama's gay. Barack Obama's no, gay. No, you need more grovel with that. You got need more body. Barack, Barack Obama's, Obama's gay. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> We're gonna get fucking hunted for this. There's nothing when wrong I'm with ranting, being gay. Hold on, when I'm ranting, you need to bleep out like every single other word that I say. The fucking Obama. <laughs> <laughs> fucking cut. Trans you. fucking. <laughs> Hey, at this point, like, people are just so done with this bullshit. This one! Yeah, yeah, yeah. This one! This is Joan. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Very well, because I don't show. And do you think that the country will see the first, the United States will see the first gay president or the first woman president? We already have it with Obama, so let's just calm down. Got it. We already have it with Obama, so let's just calm down. See, it's a trick. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's okay. Dude, that gay reporter was not and then ready. And she died on the table in surgery a week later. Literally. You're telling me that she, don't, Joan Rivers didn't die because of Michael Obama? You're a little bit late for the conspiracy episode. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, I wasn't here. I was sick. Conspiracy theory. No, seriously. Look, I, this is how I'm at. You know what Bud Light should have done? Instead of going for Dylan, right, they should have gone for Michael. And then that should have been Michael coming out to the world. You know what I'm saying? Like, turns out I was first wife, but truly I was first husband in <laughs> command. chief, uh, First husband in chief command. In chief command. You know? So that makes technically, technically, he's been in office. And I think that we should do Michelle Obama 2024. First transgender president. That's what I'm saying. It's like conspiracy. It is the perfect conspiracy. All they they were a check away. Literally, all they had to do is move their pawn up, go straight to Michael. Cause then all of a sudden now you have somebody to go against Trump. Okay, I, that's all that's all I'm saying. You know, this Michael Obama. Who's who's Michael Obama's vice president? Dylan Mulvaney. Trump Tate. Versus Michelle. Mulvaney. I could see Trump Tate. I could see Trump. I could see both of them just sitting there. Trump Tate versus Michelle Mulvaney. Who do you think would win? Michelle Mulvaney. Oh my god, dude. Oh, that's tough. That's tough. That's definitely that's definitely a civil war. Oh, oh one thousand one thousand percent. And you, you got, know what would be used as the ammunition? Got, the leftover Bud Light at the factories that they can't sell. It just turns everyone the gay. Four billion dollars yeah. worth of beer that they have sitting in their warehouses <laughs> would be the first bombs dropped. Yeah, I'll there's there's that. Bud Light chemtrails <laughs> everywhere. Civil War Two coming America. My titties have been growing in. I know it. <laughs> I'm more emotional. Oh, God, he's been poisoned. Uh, You know why Dylan Mulvaney came back on the internet? It's because his garbage man said something, like, nice to him. (laughs) Nobody be nice anymore. Fucking stop that shit. Yeah, everyone be fucking mean, dude. Stop going to Chick-fil-A. Stop. No, don't be mean. Just don't fucking say nice shit to people like that. God damn it. (laughs) All right, don't don't be mean, but don't be nice. Just be neutral towards everybody. Literally. Which is what normal life used to be like before. It seemed like every left turn and right, you keep hearing that the tease, the tease, the tease, the tease. You know, it seems so exhausting for what I, from what I understand, is a pretty small percentage of the population. What percentage of, like, population is actually trans? You know? And you know what? You in know America. Devin, in America. You know who's the most, who's who gets the the worst out of all of this is legitimate trans people. 
Like people, who, people who, like actually who, are who trans. actually have like yeah. intense, extreme gender dysphoria to the point where they need to transition for them to be healthy and for them to live their life somewhat on a normal exactly. spectrum. Exactly, and this person but, is making a fucking mockery. Exactly, like that, and. The, th the fact is, is that I hate this idea that it's like everybody who says it automatically is like validated. In any group, there are crazy people. You know what I mean? So that's like 0.03% of the population because there's what, like 350 yeah, what million? Percentage, what percentage of the population? I think the issue is, is that all it is, is it's a talking point. For all of these politicians, it seems that it's more or less just a talking point. It's an no, opportunity the, like to... Like the whole percentage, not just like teenagers. Okay, whole percentage, though. Adults in North Carolina, New York, Asian. Great, cool. <laughs> so that means that basically what it just said is that most of the people that are transgender are between the ages of 13 and 17. About 2% of the population. It's about 1.4% youth between 13 and 17. And about 0.5% that are 18 plus. So right about 2%, 1.9%. Uh, right, because most people who are any kind of gender fluid or gender non-conforming are going to be Dude, of I, high school age. I'm pretty sure we have more than 0.5% of furries. In the United States. Look that up. Look that up. Yeah. <laughs> write that down. Write that down. <laughs> <laughs> write that down. Good idea. Good idea. Go with the furries. Seriously, though, but does, does that mean that every presidential race is going to be a joke from now on? Over 250,000 people in the U.S. identify as fur. Fur? <laughs> oh, God. It's going to be like an ethnicity now. It's going to be like... A slander or a slur to you know say what? bad Actually, things. Close. There's you know what? Three hundred thousand um, for the U.S. youth. One point four percent. There are more furries than there are trans. No, <laughs> almost. There are more trans. But uh, furries come are on, close furries. <laughs> trans have three hundred k. Furries have. You need to move up your numbers, bro. You need fifty-one thousand more furries, and you will be beating the trans community. This is a competition now. They should, they should have like a LARPing. If you're going to be weird, yeah. make it entertaining. That's I, why we're here. All I'm saying Actually, is... Actually, no, you're right. They, they are winning. This is a total population of youth. So there's 300,000 youth between 13 and 17. Oh, so the... Oh. This is the U.S. population. Because in adults, it's only 0.5%. And furry... So 1.3 How many adults. furries are adults? Wait. Hold on. What the fuck do we have going on here? 5% of young... Wow. Hey. Yo. Oh, look. It, they should have, like, a LARPing championship between all the trans people and all the furries. Well, trans people... And they meet in a big like field. Like Dylan Mulvaney are just LARPing every day. Yeah, and Dylan Mulvaney will lead all the trans. She'll be the... She'll be, the, she'll be on a horse with, like, a Bud Light. Gross. You know what I mean? For Narnia and for Aslan. Exactly. And then all and then all the furries will come and meet them. Is what are we looking at? Furscience.com gross. Thirty This just did from our <laughs> certified source. Thirty four percent of total Americans are actually furries. That means that you take a look around, you're in a room, there's ten people. There's at least eighty furries in that room. <laughs> Be careful! There are furries all around you. We should be we should be passing laws to protect our bathrooms from furries. To be honest, I didn't realize what kind of epidemic was going on, dude. Next episode, we're in fur suits, dude. One in twenty five hundred people and one in five thousand people. This was back in twenty eleven. In twenty eleven, two point eight. There were that many furries in twenty eleven. Shut up. Dude, what was happening in 2011? My Little Pony. My Little Pony, My Little Pony. Bye, My Little Pony. <laughs> what a bonding moment. <laughs> Furries confirmed. <laughs> Furries confirmed. Bronies confirmed. That's all it was, dude. All these trans people are just like past, like bronies. <laughs>
It just got out of style, dude. They're just like, oh, I need like a new thing, dude. But, like, have you ever tried getting tits before? Dylan Mulvaney it's great. is a brony 2023. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dylan's the original brony. <laughs> Be like, dude, I bet you can't fucking meet the president. And he's like, try me, dude. Watch. Watch me. One year later, he's just sitting there with, like, President Biden. Wait, trans over a $5 bet. Right. Mm. But you know what? I think I think if Bud Light's going to make – if Bud Light's not going to sift through their promotional ads, if they are not socially aware, I think it's on them. You know, the, the thing is, is that I never expected Republicans to be the ones good at boycotting. Generally, that's a Democrat thing. Generally, the Republicans are like, you know, it's whatever. Why are you so butthurt about it? Republicans love to hoard their money, though. So speaking of Republicans who hoard their money, look up Kid Rock shooting a bunch of Bud Light with an AK-47. Oh, my God. With a drag queen. Yeah. With a drag queen. He with a drag queen? With a drag queen. Let's see this. Oh, no. Wrong. Wrong. <laughs> I was like, I don't think so. You, no, that's the one. That's the one. That's what he wanted that's to see. One. And then we'll do Kid Rock drag queen Bud Light after this. Kid Rock's out here, dude. Side missions. It looks like he's looks like he's playing golf. Frisky today. Let me uh, say something to all of you and be as clear concise as possible my little pony my little pony my little pony oh kid rock kid rock kid rock he was in joe dirt kid rock like this is gonna cost 80 dollars okay look up kid rock bud light uh, drag queen. There's a picture, and I think it was like 10 years ago, and it's literally Kid Rock drinking a Bud Light with a drag queen. Drag queen. Yes. Oh, like, look at the pictures, though. That one. First one. First one. Kid Rock. Drinking a Bud Light with a drag queen. Dude, this this seems like a Simpson episode. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like AI generated. 2010 <laughs> Kid Rock is like, oh, this guy is fucking cool. Let's uh, have a Bud Light together. Who knew? 2023 came around. He's like, no. no. I don't know. That was, I mean, he's gray haired now, so that was at least a couple years ago. The drag queen is obviously singing, but Kid Rock is definitely voluntarily standing there. All right, guys, we're back. Uh, we just we were just so flabbergasted by this by this whole by this whole situation, you know. Uh, <laughs> obviously, we joke, but and the reality is just like. It, it seems so fake. That's a, that's the thing. It's like if this didn't seem so fake, I don't think people would be that pissed, you know. But all these companies don't give a fuck about <coughs> diversity and anything like that. In fact, it's become such a hot button that now Trump, his his new like it, the new thing that he's running on. Like it used to be the wall. Now it's like against like all this crazy gender shit that's been going on. And of course, that's going to like blow up and win. Like, of n n yeah, all these people are seeing all this crazy shit on social media. They're like, I don't want this around my kids, you know? Who would? Yeah. Like, I remember everyone was freaking out about that one bill in Florida that basically made it so, like, you couldn't talk about like sex to like third graders, you know? Like, like pretty simple shit. And people like, lost their minds. Yeah, they're like, you're, you're killing them. You're, you know, like, no, dude. Like, what we're doing is, like, first of all, why wasn't that a law in the first place? <laughs> That's the most concerning thing, you know. <laughs> you should be getting puberty class at fifth grade when you're 10 years old and everybody's starting to hit puberty. And then usually those kids don't learn about sex until they're almost out of middle school or beginning high school, honestly. Like... People just don't understand unless they find online porn, which, like, also not good. 
But you know what also isn't good? Gender affirming clinics. What the fuck, dude? For young kids? Yeah. That's not what sex is. That's not what gender is. That's that's not your sexuality, I promise. And you should at least wait until your brain's fully developed or at least your body at 18 to make those kind of decisions. That's literally what Trump is running for on his 24-2024 election. He has a video of him actually explaining this um, where he talks about how his, in his new election he's going to focus on like parental rights and this like gender ideology that's been what it seems to be it's just everywhere i don't know what it is like what spread so far but it's like we can't go in the news more than a week without it being mentioned and it seems like there's just you know yeah there there are people don't get me wrong there are people who are out there who are suffering and this is now the perfect time and age for those people to receive exactly what they need to like help themselves and be in a society that can be accepting. This is something that we want. We want an accepting society. But to say that like it hasn't gone past just accepting and just like this whole it it just seems so fake, especially when companies are attached to it. You know? It's just it's basically like an inflated savior complex. People are virtue signaling is what they're doing. Exactly. It's, it, it seems like the entire world is just virtue signaling now. It's like virtue signaling has gone past social media and has now become like an everyday occurrence in the normal like American life now. Virtue right? signaling used to be like... Yeah, I sponsor a kid in Africa for ten dollars a month, or I I built some like homes in a third world country on a mission, and now it's like, if you don't know what Claire's pronouns are by the change in the way she blinks, and you're a transphobe. Yeah, you know, at least like before the before they would at least get onto a like a plane. You know, they would have to go out there and pretend to build the building, <laughs> and then they have all the black people come behind the scenes, and they all, you know, build it for the them. Picture. They take the pictures, <laughs> and they're just like, "Wow, it's just me, Zoe," and like, <laughs> "He was my favorite." You know, <laughs> like, no, bitch, you didn't think about that kid one time after you left that place. All you were thinking was like, "I got so many likes," you know. <laughs> I got so many shares, you know, I'm out there just saving God. That's one of the, I mean. I one up to my sister because now I'm the good one in the family. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. And it's just, it's driving people crazy. And that's why they're, you know, that's what, if you, if something doesn't change, Donald Trump will be elected. Thank God. Again. He will be elected again. And. Thank God. People would rather have just like a dick. For for like for a president, then at least like somebody who can't even like create his own sentences and words seems he doesn't even know where he's going as yeah. a motherfucker. I'd rather have a guy that's a dick because he's gonna get something done. He may say something that I don't like, but he's he's at least he has plans and ideas and like brain function like holy shit is that the is that the bare minimum we have right now is brain function at this point i think it just needs it's just gonna it has to be trump tate that's the ultimate duo you know what i'm saying tate brings in all the young guys all the early young red pillars. Great. And then Trump brings in like all of the like, you know, we're invading the capital ones, you know. <laughs> so together they bring together that whole group. We of, need to do that again, but with guns. Yeah. We need more guns. That's what's wrong with this podcast. We need more book guns. Gu <laughs> Amen. Welcome to our gun <laughs> podcast. <laughs> 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 Why is this so loud? <laughs> Why do you think your face is made with cement walls? Ah. Firearm ASMR. <laughs> the opposite of ASMR? That's how QAnon goes to sleep. <laughs> Riots on He's repeat. He flies in his ear over and over again. You're like Ten hour yeah. riot video on YouTube. You like go to visit like one of your distant family members in the south. <laughs> You're like, all right, good night. <laughs> 
don't let the the devil snip you at night. You know, something <laughs> different. You know, you're like it's just the bed bugs fine. It's fine. <laughs> you know, and then all of a sudden you just hear. <laughs> and you're like, what the fuck? Are you okay? And you're like, oh, it's just what I go to bed to. <laughs> It's just, it's just your granddaddy out in the yard firing off them bedtime shots. It's my white <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> He's shooting at Biden, that's all. <laughs> there was a rainbow-haired freak in the driveway. He got yeah, him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he saw a Slash in their bio. <laughs> he got confused. <laughs> He, he, you know how he gets, you know, these days he just doesn't even know. What the fuck did we say this last time? <laughs> that sounds like a monster to me. He gonna come rob Look, us. Look, here's the thing is I can't wait for Gen Z to have to, that until, like, they have to be the generation that goes to war. You know what does... Are, are, is the war in the room with us? Yeah. Well, the war are is Are we gonna... fighting them? A civil war? Yeah. I can see a civil war happening Please. for sure. Can a we have war? another one? Can we have round two? I really didn't like the ending of the first one. That that's just be a boring one, though, because we already know which side has the guns. It'd be very quick. Yeah, that's why I'm saying round two. Could you imagine, like, a, like Brian, the cuck who's in the polygamous relationship and watches his girlfriend get, like, fucked by three other dudes? And then there's Trevor yeah. with his egg. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Just sneak on the. Just <laughs> barely being able to shoot this guy. He's just like. <laughs> trying to get it in, dude. I just... My clip isn't working. <laughs> I'm just saying. It never works. <laughs> it, it has to end in something, dude. Because, like, I swear to God, like. That 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 Trump Tate combo, it would just like I feel like it would actually be like oh what do they call that one uh what do they what's that name of that show it's like Maiden it's where they like uh Red Maiden or whatever Made in China, Mate. <laughs> is that a show? No, I don't think so. The closest to that is how it's made. <laughs> right. How it's made, but they just show you how Chinese people are made. I think we know how Chinese people are Isn't that made. just Pornhub? Yeah. yeah. Chinese porn is just like creating only one baby. <laughs> and, and, nothing, it's a boy. And, and nothing more, yeah. <laughs> creating only one male baby. And we promise not a single time more. <laughs> AI. AI is coming quickly for that. China's going to use that to their advantage. So is Korea. Dude, if Korea gets their hands on AI, we're fucked. I, I just, I look, I just can't wait. I can't wait for, like, all this, like, wild gender shit to, like, spread eventually to everything. You know what I mean? Like, I could just imagine, like, in Islam, they're just like, today is the day that we take over the infidels. And he told me, and they're like, <clears throat> stay them. Stay. <laughs> and he's just like, oh, yes, Muhammad. They slash them, Muhammad. Would be buried in a dirt hole and stoned to death. Yeah, that would be That's not flying. That you can't even have premarital sex without dying in those countries. Dude, they okay? got it. A woman can't walk alone to the street. Yeah, or take off their veil. Like, Bro, they that's don't, true. Sand, they don't have women sand people don't like freedom. Okay, they like control. They no, like, no, you're wrong. They like freedom for the men. No, there's still no freedom for the men. It's all about control. It's all about control. There's like, it's a technical oligarchy. I feel and like those feel... motherfuckers love to get stoned, and by stoned I mean by rocks. <laughs> the uh, the original stone. <laughs> it's just be four twenty no <laughs> stone them. Well, that sounds great. What? Yeah, they just had four 20-ounce stones. <laughs> wow, the, the history of weed is real dark, dude. It's like a perm. 
merge once a year on 420. <laughs> the like the Saudi so Arabian stone purge. <laughs> Your buddy's like, yo, you want to go get stoned? He's like tying you up in a back <laughs> like, dude, this is weird, dude. <laughs> it's, do I have to do this for the bong or whatever? He's like, no, we're doing the other kind of stone. <laughs> what do you mean? And he's just like, you're a bad person. You're a sinner. Me I, mean, I mean, I found you on Fat Life. What did you expect? I know, right? <laughs> I thought we were just going to be homies. <laughs> <laughs> that's like that's like when you hear a girl saying like oh I'm just on Tinder to find friends like no okay no Bumble friends yeah I know who said that to, okay there is Bumble yeah. friends yeah. but not Tinder still even Bumble friends like what, what do you say you're just like yeah me and Larry met on Bumble friends <laughs> you I think I went on a Bumble friends like friend date with a girl once we went to a Kava Sutra bar. Yeah, but what guys are meeting on Bumble Gay Friends, guys. dude? Yeah, that's not. <laughs> We're friends. Like, he fucked me in the ass. Like, yeah, obviously. I was we, gonna guess we, that. We but... met on Bumble Friends, dude. Like, that's that's the most closeted shit ever. It's a new Th- that's the dude, nobody knows a ringtone. Bumble Friends <laughs> is the company that should have taken like Dylan Mulvaney place. in. Oh. You know that Dylan Mulvaney <laughs> also was sponsored by uh, literally Tampax. <sighs> yeah. The purpose of that company is literally if solely... If you're bleeding out of your asshole or your fucking doctor-configured vagina, there's something wrong and you need to get medical help immediately. Yeah. When Eric Hartman got his period... Yeah. Also, make them, like, way smaller, dude. I can't fit that into my dick hole. I tried when I first came on here. I really did. Everyone saw it. I made everyone watch. I was okay. just, I just heard it. I was in the other room. It was yeah. loud. It was painful, <laughs> dude. I can't sit there like... I Look, and the thing is, is that I've never bled from my dick before, but I'm pretty sure that if it did happen, I wouldn't be able to keep this fucking Tampax my dick hole the entire time. What, what am I supposed supposed to do just walk around every day and just like you know you know how hard my life would be yeah i i think for once in our lives now men are starting to understand just how hard life is you know yeah having to stick cotton up your pee hole and it's tough out here wear dude. stiletto heels while you're hiking in the goddamn wilderness yeah like it's- dylan fucking mulvaney did you guys know, hear about that story about the that female author that went to, uh, she became a man for like a year and she almost she wanted to kill herself? No, yeah, she no. did kill herself. It was a lesbian, so she, almost, she, she no, she, she did look kill up, herself. Look, look, one, up, look up her name. The one who was a transgender man figured out that women treated her so shittily that she killed herself, and I think it was three years after Wait, she okay, transitioned. Yeah, so it was, no, it was, uh, it was a lesbian. And from, from what I understand, she did an experiment that she lived as a man for a whole mm-hmm. year. And after the year, she it was like this whole TV show. You can still see it today um, where she starts – she goes and gets like haircuts from like barbers. She goes and like lives a life as a man, like as total, like going into male bathrooms and everything. And at the end of it, she said that like she realized just how different like men are treated in society as opposed to as opposed to women it's something like months after this video came out or this documentary she ended up committing suicide and in her suicide note she mentioned that it was a direct causation of the experiment of her living as a man one whole year as living as a man was too much for her to mentally handle she and said that she wasn't even attracted to women anymore after that because of the way that she had been treated. It was like super bad. Like yeah, because there are there's this whole facet of men that aren't even seen by women, mm-hmm. and that's the thing that I realized is that when you hear women talk about men, they're not talking about men as like as literally like a sex or species of like human or anything like that they're literally only thinking about like the men in her life that's what 
I've realized that when women talk about men, they're talking about the men in their life. Their so that personal means, experiences. So that means their, their father, their brothers, and then everyone else is like guys that they've had flings with or they've been like dating. So they, or they knew from school. Exactly. Or they fucking... And I mean, honestly, like if you were like... If you ever been in like a room full of men, they fucking say whatever the fuck they want, right? But in like with women, dude, they're super fucking catty. They're not gonna say it directly. They'll be like, "Oh yeah, you look so good in that outfit." Well, that's why I think there was like all this. Uh, I think a lot of pushback in combination with misogyny, but. But I think it kind of depends. You know, some companies were a little bit more misogyny and others were just like, oh, we just want to make jokes in the office. And here's this girl like, you know, huffing and puffing every time that something slightly, you know, uh, unconventional ends up coming up. But I don't know. Like and speaking of like office culture, like. Donald J. Trump is, like, I feel like the epitome of, like, the guy who's just kind of like, ah, uh, yeah, yeah, we had a few women in the office, the ones cleaning the, <laughs> cleaning the trash cans, of course. He seems like the quintessential 80s, you know, stock bro oh, in the is? United States from the 20s. Oh, from yeah, the, yeah. small moan, small moan, a small loan of a million dollars? Yeah. Oh, I'm sure he moaned when he got that. <laughs> A small moan. A small moan for a million dollars. That's all I need. <laughs> yeah, dude, that's all he got. <laughs> but you know what? Like, and Jamie. yeah, and I, I, the biggest thing that we realize is that Donald J. Trump basically resembles like the anti-establishment, while also being extremely establishment. It makes no sense. It, nothing makes sense anymore. Liberals are now like super into pharmaceutical companies and now the republicans are being like we don't like that company anymore because have you heard have you heard they're for the fucking they don't believe in this we're gone you know it's like it seems like we're switching roles like well you know why it's because the liberals have more mental health issues per like capita basically <laughs> like Per, per them being, like, a group than conservatives do. So they need more fucking drugs. When's the last time you saw somebody with crazy colored hair and piercings all over their face that didn't have to take some kind of anti-anxiety medication combined with an antidepressant, combined with a tranquilizer, combined with a sleeping med, and then, oh, no, they can't work, so they get disability and... Like, yada, 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 and it's literally because, dude, like, that's what I was saying before, is that well, I the think, liberals have more mental health issues than conservatives do. I think, and on top of that, I think that liberals end up consuming a lot more social media. They do. Right? They do. Which I think has some kind of result from that. It's like the more social media that you consume, even, like, when I consume social media, I feel myself getting, like amped up and like you're like oh what kind of like bullshit is this uh and then you realize like okay that's probably most people on the internet not to mention like young people you know like of course they're going to like grab onto this and uh, i they mean i feel different they want to feel special they want to feel loved and accepted and when the major when when the majority of people in America are saying, except these people, these are, our, we're going to be an ally. This is the new thing. This is the new, like, popular thing to be, to be cool and be accepting. You're going to do that because, one, you want to not be rejected by your peers and be canceled. And you also want to think to yourself that you're a nice person, a.k.a. virtue signaling. But that's exactly right. I think that you really stuck on it, that you said that you want to feel accepted. And I think that's a universal human experience. It is. And I think that's why it's important to at least try to relate to people that you don't exactly understand mm -hmm. or that you are, like, on the opposite end of the spectrum from. I feel like you should truly try to get out of your comfort zone and, and see what the – what the world can look like from a different perspective. But that being said, you can also, you know, just take it easy, man. You know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> the shit's just getting too wild. Like the, I just don't like this openness. And this also like in the United States, 
more than any other place, attention is currency. Attention yes. is currency. So yes. to sit here and say that you don't think that people, especially young kids, can be influenced. Influenced. That word, influence. Influencer. It takes over the entirety of the United States. Like, it takes over everything here because attention is the biggest currency here in the United States and the rest of the world. And so... I just don't like that there's no in-between talk, you know? It's, it's all or nothing. It's all or nothing. You either, you know, you're either for kids getting all these surgeries, getting all these drugs, and th then you're pro-trans, and then that means you're also pro, you know? It's like, dude, I also believe that, that I, I was like, I believe that polar bears are dying, and all of this ice is melting. We need to figure something out. But also at the same time, I don't need Dylan Mulvaney on my fucking Bud Light when I'm sitting there playing, fucking, you know, you know. Fortnite. Yeah, what? You like? Who cares? Like nobody cares. And I think companies are finally starting to realize this. And it took Bud Light losing six billion dollars. Four. Four, no, I think it's now six billion dollars. Uh oh, well, it's billions. Of it doesn't even matter, dude. It's that billions of dollars. That bitch yeah. is stupid. <laughs> like she you fuck yeah. it up, dude. So, and breaking news is that it seems that yet yeah, that they let her go today. You know, <laughs> I I was waiting for the day to come. I was like, are they? There's no way she's in the office, dude. You can't. You can't be in the office full of a bunch of executives that all have cuts of money into the company and you just lost everybody like billions of dollars. Well, and the fact that Dylan Mulvaney is a fucking trans person that met the president and is, you know, a spokesperson for for tampons, I feel like not only is that person an influencer but, like, there's other influencers that are now going down the same rabbit hole. I mean, like, Mr. Beast's fucking, what, one of his good friends, Chris, yeah. left his wife and son to become a trans woman and said that he's doing it for that his son. That was huge. There was this huge, I mean, it was all over TikTok. I mean, I couldn't go more than a few swipes up TikTok without seeing another video of somebody upset about this. But, yeah, and I, like... I love Mr. Beast's videos. They're so creative. He puts in more energy into these videos more than any other YouTuber, right? And so you think about, like, all, all his channels are all about these amazing feats, giving to people who need, right? Like, doing amazing things that look great on camera. He was the king of this. He was. He is the king of of YouTube, right? And now and he it, looks super uncomfortable next to Chris. So... And then Chris, who is one of the people, one of the guys who's on his, well, Chris is one of the people who is on his, um, on his YouTube channel that just was like one of the interactors, some, like some of the people that like put together all the videos was part of interacting with the guests on the show. And then out of nowhere, you just radically change your appearance. I don't even care about like if you're transitioning or if you're transgender, you can do that. But if you're going to be part of a video production that a lot of people, millions upon millions of people see Hundreds every time. Hundreds of millions. Of yeah. course, if you radically change your appearance, like if, if all of a sudden we were like goth <laughs> and we had like mohawks <laughs> and we had a podcast and people were like, yo, uh, great podcast, but also a question mark. <laughs> What the What's fuck going happened? on with the yeah. new soil or whatever? And we're just like, and then the next day we come on, we're like, we can't believe the backlash, the backlash that we got. You in guys these are comments. goth phobes, goth phobes for real. And and any other. As I'm in like a light yeah. green and you're in a jean vest. Dude, we look so ridiculous. Like, <laughs> nothing. We're so actually we're very earthy. We look like we're we live on a commune. Yeah, a okay, goth yeah, yeah. commune. We're <laughs> yeah, we live a we live in a goth commune, and I need the soil latte. <laughs> I need the soil latte, and also a subscription to hell. 
but I, I think what it I think what the Mr. Beast like Chris I the thing that people are really pointing out is that he had a wife and kids. And it seems that they were recently split. So a lot of people are speculating that the reason for a year that the reason that Chris split with uh, his wife was because he was trans. Honestly, it. (sighs) So the thing is, is that like, if you are ready to make that big of a change in your life where you're like, I'm going to become trans immediately right now. It's going to take me one year and I'm going to be trans, right? You fucking knew that before your two year old son was born before you married that girl four years ago, figure your fucking shit out before you ruin everybody else's lives. Yeah. I mean, it just seems like there's no limit. Like you can, you can, you can find yourself as many times as you, you know what I mean? Like, no, of course if you're like, dude, I like, I don't know, I can't find myself. I need to find myself. You're like, yeah, do it, you know. And then like yeah, a year later, you're like, oh, like I thought I found myself, but it turns out I didn't find myself, so I gotta go out and find. You're like, yeah, dude. And, and that's like three, how you get on meth. And then three and that's then four times, times and then five times, shit. and then you're just, and then you end up like Mr. Garrison. And it's like you go from being like a trans woman to being straight to being non-binary, and then you end up being part of the. And the thing is, it's like. A lot of people will say that this is ridiculous, but these people exist 1,000%. And it not They're only... They're on your TikTok for you page. Just open the fucking yeah. app. And, and these people are not a part of the LGBT community. They're not a part. They will sit there. They have all the flags, but they do nothing but hurt the community. Because at the end of the day, people who have these legitimate problems, who aren't all over the internet, who aren't Mulvaney, that aren't like seems to be it's all about grabbing attention as much as possible and just grasping onto an identity. Like this is a human thing. We've known this. Humans just grasp onto identities, you know, wherever they are and whoever they're surrounded with. That's where we feel the most comfortable. Yeah, that's a very human thing. Which Why is do you like, think Egyptian leaders thought that they were gods? Yeah. If your community supports you, you can be whatever you want. But your downfall is always going to come. And when you're 56 and you don't have any fucking children, you don't have a legacy, and you don't have anybody to care for you, and you weren't able to find a job because you refused to contact or communicate with anybody that didn't call you by the correct pronouns every couple hours when you changed them. That's your own fucking fault. Well, I think that's what put a sour taste into the general public's mouth is that this this general aggressiveness. I mean, you see it all over. Have you seen pull up the video of this trans uh there's this activist who is at this trans rally in Canada. I think it was in Toronto or something like that. And he got, like, viciously, like, thrown down, like, <laughs> like roughed up by this trans woman, you know, who, like, had the stature of, like, you know, Bob the Builder. Yeah, like... Yeah. Uh, it's, no, say punched. Swatted. Yeah, there we go. Conservative attack by trans activists at trans rally. I don't think that's the actual and video. Welcome back to another video. Before I talk about what... Damn it, was... it story box. <laughs> it was all over Twitter. The, anyway, yeah, yeah, there it is. Keep going. Love just to say F you to the person that is because you have trouble. So look at this guy. He's like a fucking. <gasps> it just gets. Dude! Look at all these police. What does his sign say? Children cannot. Consent or something. Like. And you're gonna punch that guy? You're gonna punch that fucking guy. These are the people that are giving, like, this Dude, community no one... a bad name. Carrying a fucking rainbow flag and literally assaulting so he... Dude, that man in a woman's hairdo just tried to stab that guy in the neck with her flagpole. Did you see that? This is the Rewind widest... Rewind it one more time. Watch that shit. This, this is the widest video 
I think I've ever seen, dude. And guess what? That person, that person who Watch. Lit Watch. literally just assaulted him. Literally throws the dowel of the flag at his throat. Watch. Right here. Look. Literally tried to puncture his fucking throat with that goddamn dowel. Look at all those cops. That person, that, that person who assaulted Look him. Look at that. Literally tried to fucking kill him. That should be an, an attempted murder charge. They didn't arrest her. There it. was like 46 cops and they didn't arrest that nope. man in a woman's hair. Because they said it's their policy. This is in Toronto, so this is Canadian. This is like, yeah, very gross. So, and you mean like, the Mexicans up north? <laughs> yeah, the northern Mexicans. I mean, look at them all. For all the sun that the Mexicans have been getting, they've been taken away from these white people. Dude, it's slowly... She's about to do like a Take a screenshot of that yeah, so dude, we can put it on impressive. the pod. To be Take honest, a screenshot of dude, that. Dude, if this was a if this was an MMA match, I would be like, you know, you know, cheering this on. This is a good fight from that snapshot. But yeah, this she is... literally stuck the flag into his throat. I'd like to fucking see a picture of that guy's neck after this yeah, honestly face, yeah so i you? just think i think that it's this aggressiveness that people are seeing they're witnessing that they don't want we've you know it. it's just too much you know it seems yeah, like we've witnessed it yeah i had to fucking kick that bitch out holy shit i'm sorry like, you can't yell it... at my fucking teammates yeah i'm sorry you can't fucking do that Everyone if you do got... so i mean. will kick ass i don't give a fuck so, and that's why I think Trump's, Trump's going to win, dude. Like, whether, if, you know, obviously it's a joke that Tate's going to be his, you know, vice president. But at, at the this same time, like, gonna be the secret anything's service. possible. Yeah. <laughs> I would, dude, I would feel yeah. safe. <laughs> Dowel would, in hand, rainbow flag waving. Oh, one side's rainbow, is, one uh, side's trans. This is the sister of that one guy who's like, it's ma'am. Oh. Yeah, that guy. The OG, dude. Ugh. But yeah, terrifying. so like, and, and this all got brought up because Trump's going to be running again. He's running off of basically like anti this. And it's like, that's such an easy win. It's such an easy win. You're making it so easy for Trump to win because people just don't want to deal with it. And especially their kids, like... They don't want to worry about their kid going to school and, like, somehow being, like... Getting shot up by a trans person who used to go to that school. Yeah. Or getting shot up by the fucking, <laughs> you know, by the doctor, you know? They're scared of both. And, you know, they're gonna, they're, they're gonna vote for that way. So, you and you can't support all this and think, like, oh, you know what? If you're bad, then it's whatever, like, half... The country voted for that guy. Of course, they're going to be willing to vote for him again, especially if this. Especially now, dude. When Trump first came into office, I wasn't pro Trump, and guess what? I am now pro Trump. Dude, get my. Gas. I had purple hair when Trump came into office. I had purple hair for four fucking years. I was the most libtard girl you probably could have met in high school. Literally. Like, I was like, don't say autistic. It's offensive. Bitch, that's autistic. Okay? Don't fucking... <laughs> Stop being so autistic. <laughs> For real. No, this is ridiculous. It's gone too far. It's gone it's, too far. It's gone and I think... over accepting, and yeah. now it's into, like, forceful... It's it's becoming very communistic. Because I, I, I've been feeling this for a long time because as a comedian, you're the one who says the outrageous things, right? And comedians need to say the most outrageous things. That's the definition of humor. You literally, laughter is an evolutionary. Exactly. It's an evolutionary thing that we have evolved to alert other humans of something that is unfamiliar or unexpected. That's what a laugh is. That's why you laugh when you're nervous. So when you say a joke, that's what a punchline is. It's something that's unexpected. Also, truth used to be like humor was the was the package in which you put truth in um, for ancient 
for like ancient times. You, the jester was literally meant, it's, it was one of the most important jobs in the castle because he was the only one that was able to speak truth to the king. Everyone else was scared because they were afraid that they would get their head shot off, shot, like, sh um, chopped off. But the jester was meant to bring light of like reality to the king because he was meant to be ridiculous. Mm -hmm. This is where comedy comes from. And over the years, you've had a lot of people not only attack my comedy, but attack comedy in general, you know? And, like, the Dave Chappelle coming out, and he, like, ended up having a whole, like... And the thing is, is that the more outraged you become, the more comedians talk about it, the more it ends up on the news, the more end up people end up getting mad. And it's like... Take a chill pill. Just take a chill pill. Just, you know, y'all fucking... Take a nap. Run. Take a bath. Stop... Stop taking fucking benzos every day because of your goddamn mental health problems. Maybe if you just ate a diet that wasn't fucking solely fast food and Xanax and antidepressants, you'd feel a little bit better. Well, that's the other thing that I don't really like about them, especially when it comes to kids. It's like you can't teach that, that, that surgery like plan and drugs it's surgery and drugs are the way to like be happy which kind of indirectly says that you know which is so ridiculous like it's it, that's the last thing you want to tell a, a small impressionable child you know and that's the most fucked up thing is that we keep talking about like how you know kids are too young they they're too impressionable and that they can't make these major decisions for themselves. That's a reason why a eight year old can't go and get a tattoo or because, vote. Because that eight year old. But they can vote yeah. to get their genitals cut off. So it, it yeah, and, and, and like it's like that's just thrown out as soon as it's like, oh no, they know, they understand themselves. And it's like, look at look at Jared on the floor. He's literally eating a piece of plastic. He doesn't know what gender he is. He, and it's the parents that are usually the problem. Like, he, why the fuck would you He's not even thinking about that. Yeah. So, uh, you know, and I think this has created the monster that is Trump. And at a certain point, you end up having to kind of tell people that, like, hey, you know, like, you made this bed. You got to lay in it. Mm -hmm. You know? Like, eventually, if you go so wild, of course people are going to start to be like, you know what, there's a certain point where you can't be, like, for it. And uh, one of the, actually, this is a good segue, because one of the mess, like, one of the main, like, headliners against uh, cancel culture and censorship, which seems to be at the core of this issue, is the man himself, Elon Musk, mm -hmm. who literally, he paid 44 billion dollars just to keep freedom of speech alive on twitter some people agree some people disagree but he recently had a interview with bbc um which was i like truly like iconic and it really could this bbc uh, reporter, I think we talked about this last time. The BBC reporter came in and like basically wanted to like make him look bad on camera, just like, and and that's what, that's what journalism is these days. Like, what happened, dude? What happened in journalism that now it's all about like making the person look bad or making the person look good as opposed to like finding out the story? I don't know what because I don't... they're all biased. Yeah. They're literally all biased. Every single person is biased. And then, like, honestly, at the same time, it's like, dude, like, this man has Asperger's, and he was able to literally defeat the odds and become a multi-multi-billionaire. And we're sitting here telling kids that because they feel a little weird and they're changing bodies... That they need to fucking do something which, about which, that? Which, by the way, is normal. That's a human experience. You know, I still you, feel weird yeah. sometimes. If you ask any person if they have ever felt 1,000% comfortable in their own body, I guarantee you they're lying, dude. 
because that's just not true. Every person has been like, whoa, what is, like, you know, I wish I kind of looked like this or, you know, different than that. Or if you gain weight or if you lose weight sometimes, like, that's just normal. That's a, that's a defense mechanism through evolution for you to realize, like, oh, I lost too much weight or I gained too much weight. or It's changed. You know, I need this. It's yeah. You need that to tell, like, okay, I'm healthy or I need to get more healthy, right? This is, like, crucial information. And now it's, like, just turned into... A frenzy of whatever's open, whatever's good, you know. Yeah, and that's where, like, the influencers come back, too. And, like, thank God we have people like, you know, Elon Musk and stuff who, like, I mean, he got hair transplants. That's cool. But he also didn't get lip fillers and fucking look like Jeff Bezos. Why is he so ripped? Why does he look like that? There's a lot of questions in that. There's a lot to unpack, but but I can't like if we ever meet Elon Musk, I want you so badly to go up to him, and be like, thank you, thank you, sir, for saving freedom of speech. I know you got a hair transplant, but you know what? We go, we love he the freedom. It looks good. Of... It looks good. I'm not saying it looks bad. This is the Jonah Hill thing all over again. You know what? Do you like? Is that is Elon Musk your type? No. South African Asperger multi billionaire. He's really ugly yeah well i don't know that green he's smart i mean i'm not gonna say bitch if i wanted to have a millionaire i'd have a millionaire you know, i don't most... want no millionaire i want a man who actually loves me thank you and doesn't have 12 other fucking children and is just like oh, okay. breeding his own army so you're taking disgusting. the authentic way you're taking the uh the real life way you're not gonna just i'll make my man a millionaire i don't have to fucking find one i got this shit yeah, I like that. I like that. Yeah. Make your man a millionaire. Or a thousandaire. Or a hundredaire. Who the you fuck know? cares as long as you're happy? As long Honestly. As, as long as you and are happy. And you can't be happy if you're drugged up and mutilated. I I just like, yeah. I, I mean, I, I feel like we're losing our roots as humans. You know? Like we... We, Where's the catnip? Where's the fucking, you know? We use everything now. It's like life has become too convenient. Life has become too easy. And I think a lot, you notice that a lot of the extra weird shit, as opposed to the normal gay rights, the trans rights stuff that we all can all agree on, right? All of this extra stuff happened during the pandemic when everyone had all this extra time on their hands. Jeffree Star's talked about it. Bring up the Jeffree Star video of talking about, Jeff, look up Jeffree Star non-binary, you know? Look up how much time we have left on recording. We'll end, we'll, we'll end with this here pretty soon. Well, I don't think we have much film left. Here, Jake. Yeah, 32 minutes perfect. 32 minutes perfect okay, cool yeah just look it up on on youtube he he was on a um he was on a podcast and it basically said what everyone couldn't like he was too scared to say you know that like all of this wild identity started to, to come out during the pandemic so all these young kids oh, weren't getting the same attention and social experiences that the rest of us got because they had to be stuck inside. So it's like no wonder this like ended up like popping out. Yeah, there you go. What does that mean? Jeffree Star is being slammed after making quote disgusting comments about non binary people. I'm not into all the other bullshit. Quote the book, the vein down. On February 14th, Jeffree Star sat down with NFL player Taylor Newham, revealing he doesn't believe in non binary identities and claiming pronouns were made up out of boredom during the pandemic. I'm not into all the other bullshit. Quote the book, the vein down. Yeah. And all that extra stuff that we added during the pandemic. Exactly. Yeah. So, like, yeah. And, and Jeffree Star, he said it you know, exactly how it is. It's just, you know, we, we got bored, bro. We had, we had how many months of just, like, doing nothing? It's like you had so many options. You could either get drunk, right, or you became, like, a social media star, or you ended up trans. It seemed like there were three options during the pandemic. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Everyone forgot art existed, I guess. I guess so, but like... We could have had a new renaissance, but no. Everyone had to go 
trans instead of oil painting. You know what? It's like if we're gonna go trans, at least create like a supreme like trans woman like NFL or like NBA. You know what I'm saying? Like, dude, we can't even I have women sports dude, anymore. I would pay to go watch that. Are you kidding me? You Just dunks on have? dunks on dunks. You know what we should have? We should have a specific, separate league for trans people and non-binary people, just like the Special Olympics. <laughs> we'll work on your delivery. We'll work on your delivery. I we'll... think that was perfect. I got both of you. I got both of you. Don't even yeah. fucking yeah. say that we'll... I have bad delivery we'll... because I got both of you. <laughs> Yo, spit out your drink. Well, uh, so shut the fuck up. Next time we'll lead with the Special Olympics. You know what I mean? Be like, have you ever been to the Special Olympics? Yeah, <laughs> Leah Thomas is there. Check out the Special <laughs> Olympics 2024. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> right after the Asperger's events, we have <laughs> Leah Thomas. Asperger's events are just rockets. This Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Dylan Mulvaney <laughs> and Michael Obama in the pool. We're going to be seeing 300 meter dash from these folks here. Michael Phelps. Uh, yeah, we have a, a Colin <laughs> Kaepernick taking a knee for whatever reason. <laughs> we don't know what he's mad about this time, but he doesn't want to stand. Caitlyn Jenner is giving the speech. Yeah, Kate, Caitlyn Jenner. Caitlyn Je Jenner sang the national anthem. Thank you very much. <laughs> The trans national anthem. Oh, say can you see <laughs> by my dawn's <laughs> only dick I and cut. my balls <laughs> and my Adam's apple. Remember to dial <laughs> I have two daughters and a Dude, wife. Yeah. <laughs> Force my <laughs> husband to come out as gay. Cause I'm Caitlyn Jenner. And I'm proud oh, that I'm gay. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, <Bruh>, we can't. <laughs> what is that transition after that? We can't, like, the, the next thing. Oh my god. I didn't even go to this concert and I'm pissed about it. I, dude, I didn't even go to this Frank Ocean concert and I still want a refund, dude. dude That's how real. hyped up I got about this. He was like this. 20 minutes late. No, no, no. He was an hour late. He Man, was, if I was an hour late to my job, I'd be fired. You, it, it, you don't want to talk about I was angry. Think about the dancers. He had a whole ice rink. He won literally in California. <laughs> he made them build an ice rink to have a bunch of dancers around him. And then he cut it off last minute. So that means all of those dancers who spent months practicing for this one Coachella event ended up just getting like shooed away like by the last minute. He ended up like... He said half the time he wasn't even on stage. The, on, whenever he was on stage, it seemed like he wasn't even singing. Lip he was kind syncing. of lip singing. And then most of his music was like uh, remixes of his music. And it just seems like, you know, it's like it, it, people were leaving yeah. early. Like people were literally walking away from his set to go buy a $25 vegetarian hamburger. Like, that's literally how bad it was. Is people were like, I'd rather spend $95 on lunch right now than listen to Frank Ocean. How fucking poorly planned. Okay, and you know what? I will give... Okay. I did hear that his brother just died, and he's pretty upset about okay, it. Okay, then cancel the event. That's what I'm saying. Then cancel the event. If how you're dare too you emotional, do that yeah. to everybody who paid... Who was they trekked their asses also, over to your stage and paid t over two thousand dollars to be there, dude? Also, like, you, uh, most of these artists are touring and they've been on, they've been doing show after show after show after show after year after year after year. Frank's been sitting on his ass for fucking years, you know, and like he hasn't been doing shit. He's just living off of the money that he made from his first few albums. And I've realized now. Like, going through all this, like, stuff about the concert, it feels like Frank Ocean is, like, that one really toxic ex that you have that, like, like will tell you. He's like, but, babe, my life is super I hard. I love you, babe. 
I take me be, back. I want to be with you forever. And take then, me back. Yeah. And then you like go to like he's gonna pick you up and he like he forget he like falls asleep and doesn't pick you up and then ends up like going and meeting this girl and it's just like but he comes he comes pick you up but he picks you up like forty minutes late, you know, and it's like. It, it just seems like that one toxic ex that you just can't really seem to get rid of. But Isn't he gay? I think Frank Ocean is gay, yeah. Is he a diva? I think he might just be a diva. I think so. That's what I was just thinking. I was like, hmm. I think he might just be Seems a diva. Seems like he's like, I don't want the ice dancers anymore, okay? And also, you know what? I'm going through a really tough time right now. Yeah. So I'm going to take as much time as I want and... I'm gonna honestly, I wanna like take some shirts in the limo. Oh outside. my god, dude! Of course he has a shirt. Did he wear that? Why at be Coachella? racist? Is homophobic or transphobic? The uh, when you quiet, quiet when you could be quiet. He's like, here I am with my millions of dollars, and he's just like, you don't understand the hard lives. He's just like, living. be quiet. I'm here an hour late. Yeah. What the fuck? It just reminds me of of uh of like the Golden Globes, you know, like Ricky Gervais just ripping apart like all these all these bet like all of these rich celebrities who like haven't faced diversity in years. They're getting millions of dollars. They're in their <coughs> their giant they're in their like giant mansion, like on the beach, you know, and they're and then they go onto a stage and talk about, you know, how the world is horrible, and you don't like they have no idea what the world is in terms of like horrible. And in fact, the thing is, even in the United States, poverty isn't nearly as bad as it, as it is anywhere else. I mean, try going to Ukraine, bro. You want to see devastation? You want to see people? Not being able to live them their true selves. Try living in a in a in an apartment building that's being constantly bombarded by bombs, dude. Like this is the reality that <clears throat> like Earth is truly that. in. And so it like of course like and people understand that. So when they go and they just want to have a good time, that and they understand that like this is probably going to be one of the last like one if not the only like appearance that Frank Ocean has, right? But it just comes off as, like, very bourgeoisie, you know? He's like, ah, you guys don't deserve me. Holier than thou. Yeah. Like, it, it comes off very narcissistic. But, you know, the, today we've talked nothing but narcissism. We've talked we nothing. We should talk about our long drive home and the super exactly. dark. That... The dark the dark ride home. Yes. It's, and now I want fucking depression pills. It's, I mean, it's 9-22 as it do <laughs> as it do it's all right guys anything. well you know we talked about everything we, you know we set the record straight with with but light we decided that you know who's going to run for 2024 Michelle Obama yeah we you know we Michael. Sh Michael Obama Michael Obama versus Frank Ocean the diva oh my god the diva squad who do you think would win Michelle Michelle, so, Michelle, yeah, would Michelle, Michelle win. would win for sure. She has some stature. Right. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you guys for a chaotic episode that is today. You know how the show goes. We're all over the place. We love you. Be sure to check out uh, all of our social medias. Like, comment, and subscribe. I can't tell you guys. And share. Share, 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 share. And like, 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 like. We need more interaction from you people we know you're out there we know that you're listening we know that we love you we, you, we know that you're part of the congregation so show it please we're gonna have a new episode out and from this point on we're gonna be changing the schedule now we're gonna have an episode out every single week on monday at 9 a on a not monday we're gonna have a new episode out every wednesday at 9 a.m be uh what a great episode we know it's all over the place it's just our style 
be sure to like, comment, subscribe, share. Share, share, share. We need more interaction. We know you guys are part of the congregation, but you guys need to show yourself. So be out there. We love you. We're going to have new episodes out every Wednesday now. Every Wednesday at 9 a.m., we're going to have a new Wednesday, uh, new Wednesday episode out. We're just going to keep this up just because that seems to be the best way. We're just doing one episode of every week, but we're going to have extra episodes on our Patreon. So we love you guys. Thank you for coming, and we'll see you next week. Bye.